Fool me once with He-Man on Netflix. Shame on me. Fool me twice with He-Man on Netflix. Shame on you. And if Netflix, if you have a third He-Man hiding up there somewhere, you better call somebody for that. Ah, uh, friends, we got a wild one for you. <laughs> this one just seemingly dropped out of nowhere, and uh, I'm going to react to what I saw in the trailer, and then I'll show you a little bits and clips of it. Uh, yeah, so a brand new He-Man and Masters of the Universe is dropping, but not the Kevin Smith one. I mean, this is this just happened. Uh, there was a trailer, and it's going to release September 16th. They must have really, they must have been, their toy line must really be hurting Mattel because they're like, that old He-Man, that guy, that is gone. That has been scourged from the earth. The Kevin Smith version is gone. This one, uh, it seems like it's for kids. So I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. Uh, the, the animation is pretty dark. It's a little, little wonky. So we'll, we'll take a look though. I'll show you some things that I like and some things that I don't. Um, it's it's developed for television by Rob, uh, Rob David, who also did Masters of the Universe Revelation. Hmm. But this one is the the plot synopsis is that in Eternia, the first planet of the creation, a demonic tyrant rises, Skeletor, with his dark armies at his command. Skeletor is on the march, hellbent on capturing Eternia's kingdoms and its ultimate prize, Castle Grayskull. The ancient fortress of mystery said to contain the greatest power of the universe. It's up to He-Man, voiced by Yuri Lowenthal, and his brave squad of rookie heroes to stop Skeletor and restore peace. Both sides come armed with enchanted weapons, transforming them into the masters of the primal powers of the universe. It's Master versus Dark Master, He-Man versus Skeletor, fighting for control of Eternia, Castle Grayskull, and the fate of us all. In the end, who will become master of the universe? Seems like all your traditional characters are in there. Uh, you've got long-term, you know, Fred Tascatore, he's in there. So let's just take a look here. I'm going to scan through it. It's it's clearly He-Man is in space, but that's cool. Whatever, man. I'll take a little He-Man in space. I don't know. Again, it, it's for kids, so I'm going to let it slide a little bit. Um, you know, you got this little, uh, this girl, she f ends up finding the sword. Uh, she steals it clearly, and then I guess she gets a message to tell her send it to Find the champion So she's gonna take the sword Here's the sword and give it to little rinky dinky Prince Adam, which I'm not like the biggest fan of his animation Like whatever. I mean It's Prince Adam. What are you gonna do? The one thing I did want to show you here is <laughs> Look at he man uh, his arms are twice as long as his legs. I think that's a little wonky. Like, I'm not super thrilled about that. I'm kind of like, you know, proportions maybe. And here's Castle Grayskull, which seems to be forming behind him with the, with the, with the sword of power. Okay, cool, cool. There's He-Man with his, 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 you know, unified swords. Looking all pretty muscular. I mean, you're gonna get it. You wanted He-Man. You wanted He-Man. You're going to get He-Man. You're just also going to get his diverse cast of friends <laughs> too. Like, all right, we got to put up with all these extra side characters. Uh, let's see. And I guess some of them are gonna become like man at arms and things like that. Like, I, I don't know, but. I mean, whatever, it's He-Man and it's a kid show and some of it is is kind of looks okay. I, I do like that they're staying with the original canon where um, uh, Skeletor is actually King Randor's older brother. I'm, I'm forgetting the name right now, but uh, Kendor, I think his name is, something like that. If you know in the comments, you can let me know. Um, let's see here. We get a look at Skeletor's like palace or something like that there's these demon monster guys all right cool 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 you see his friends some more power stuff uh i did like cringer and, and they do transform him into battle cat in this somewhere all their there's cringer right there look oh hey there cringer let's see i wonder who tila is like that's the thing i, I don't know who any of the characters are but they all they all get to be masters of the universe like they all power up so like there's battle cat in the background there's a better shot of them later 
yeah, like here, they form like, look, we're He-Man's friends. Where are we? We're all, look, our superhero pose, right? Maybe the middle one, Sorceress, the one right down with the helmet is Tila, and the other guy's Man-at-Arms, and then there's Cringer. Sure, why not? Keep it going. Let's keep going. Fighting this giant armada. Sure. I'm sure that's a thing. Flying through space. I thought I saw that somewhere. Um, I don't like the evil Lynn design, right? That didn't do much for me. I thought she was a little weird. Uh, there's Skeletor. Skeletor looks kind of cool. I don't know that I like the voice acting on it. It was a little wonky. But again, look, I'm judging based off of trailer. Am I excited for this? You know what? After Revelation, I think I'd take anything. I mean, I'll check it out and see. I think that's Trapjaw, right? So they have like most of the main characters that you would come to expect for a He-Man thing, right? Look, there's them all beefed up in their suits of armor and stuff. And there's Battle Cat. Looks kind of cool. Like, I'm down. Like, it's a little, like, uh, you know, futuristic sci-fi whatever, man. Uh, you know, and the original He-Man was a kid show. So, let's go with it. I can't too, be too judgy. I, and I feel like the whole... The, everybody's, like, really slamming this thing. Like, look, the, even this one's been ratioed. It's it's 3.3 likes to 5,000 dislikes. Come on, people. Let's let's give it a hot second. I know you're mad about Revelation. I know. I, it, it's, it hurts what they did to the He-Man franchise. But look, let's give... And I know it's made by the same guy. <laughs> so, look, whatever. Let's... Uh, that's a cool shot of Grayskull. I kind of like that. Some of the visuals look cool, you know? Maybe it'll be exciting. Again, it's a kid show. Uh, I'll take it for what it is. what it is. Let's see before we judge and get too crazy. You know, maybe there's some cool parts of it. I don't know. I don't know. It, it you know... Skeletor looks kind of cool, right? Maybe some of the villains. I think there was a whole part where they're like, "Ah, my villains!" Ha ha ha. You know, he introduces all his villains. I guarantee in this one, He-Man doesn't die in the first episode. How's about that? Um, I'm pretty sure about that one. So I think it's okay. Let's give it. A, let's give it a shot. Let's not be too judgy. It was one villain in all of this, and it was Kevin Smith. So let's stick with that. I think we can be satisfied. We've you know pushed him into hiding. We'll go after him again if he shows his stupid face. He's a traitor to all geekdom. But for now, hey, again, it's a, it's a, let's stay focused. It's a kid show. Netflix kid shows have been okay. I like the Tales of Arcadia series is real good. They have the Dragon series is real good. You know, let's hope it, it it's more kid friendly uh, and doesn't seem like it's focused on the wrong things. It seems like it's He-Man and his group of friends, right? And they're going to save the world. So let's stick with that. I'm not freaking out. Deep breaths, everybody. Deep breaths. But anyway, uh, again, catch our podcast. We have a full-length po audio podcast. You can catch it anywhere where there's podcasts. Um, we're hoping uh, you we earn your subscription on this one. You know, I bring more news. I've got my partner, Noob Noob. He said he's absolutely excited. He dresses like He-Man to watch all these shows. He dresses actually like Prince Adam, not like He-Man, because he can't fit that fatigue. He's a little tiny guy. Anyway, um... Catch us uh, Friday nights live streaming, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to catch our full-length audio podcast, we stream it live here on YouTube. So come join us for the fun and action. It's a great Friday night. Anyway, I got other stuff to do, so I am on to the next one.